Okay guys, Army Singer 150 with you. I had a few questions about the mop suit NBC suit by Defarnicus. And this is what it comes in. This is an ICE pack, what we call the ice pack. The uh, outer garment, the gloves and the boots come in that. This is a newer protective mask pouch, which I no longer have a mask. I will be getting one soon and this is the decontamination kit personal M258 A1 I wanted to show you my mop gear or my NBC gear and this is specifically for Defarnicus because he has a brand new mop suit that he bought and had a few questions about so as soon as I uh, go mobile with the uh, camera get a close up on all this stuff and try to answer some of the questions. Now as you can see I have this laid out pretty well I think. Uh, right here is what you call your ice pack. Now this is just a uh, camouflage container. A little bag that holds the outer garment, uh, your gloves and your boots for your NBC suit. Okay Defarnicus had a, a question about uh, a hood for the gas mask that he has. I think he has the Israeli gas mask and I don't know if that comes with a hood or not. But I do know that most United States uh, protective masks do come with a hood uh, attached to the uh, protective mask itself. Now this suit does have a hood as well. Uh, I don't think I saw a hood on the part of Kiss's uh, mop suit. But this one does come with it. Now I wanted to show also that the pants right here have suspenders which I also did not see on his suit so I could be mistaken. Now uh, this is a brand new suit. I just took it out of the plastic and put it into the ice pack. Of course right here we've got protective mask carrier and this one this version which I never got to use this is a newer one it has a whole bunch of pockets it has another pocket right here to put the mask inside uh, you would put your different uh, decontamination accessories in this thing there's another pouch right there so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't exactly know which mask this goes to. Okay, and what you see on this literature down here. This is a... I don't know if you can read that. Chemical paper. Agent detector. It has 25 sheets. And this is a... A pictogram of the nerve agent antidote kit. That would also go in this uh, particular kit. And right here, this is the NBC Individual Chemical Equipment Package. Like I said, the ice pack. Okay, I wanted to show you something that was kind of disturbing. This is one of my soldier's manual of common tasks. This is for 1990. And this shows you how, how big a section NBC gear warranted in this in this manual. That's all. That's almost a whole half of this manual is for NBC and for doing stuff with the different masks, mop levels, taking care of your mask. Shows you the different mop levels right there. Has mop level one right there. Mop level two. Shows you how to put the boots on. Oh, let me see here. Shows you how to put the mask on right there. So this has a huge portion of this smart book. It's dedicated just to NBC and wear and care of the mop suit and protective mask.
Now here's the same manual, and it's been updated, and this is 2007. And this is as far as it goes with mop levels and protective masks and the wear and care and stuff like that. Comes to about right here. So this is what you got. This is everything that they have on the new uh, soldier's manual. This is all they have on NBC and mop gear and your mask and everything. No pictures, doesn't tell you hardly anything. Now when I forgot one thing here, this also came with the kit, the NBC warning and reporting system. It's from 1996. Got all kinds of different uh, information in there, meaning of the line items, NBC reports. It has strike warnings for nuclear, chemical warnings. Over here it's got significant uh, predicted fallout zones. Down here it's got transmission factors for residual radiation, stuff like that. Really handy. That's that. So hopefully uh, this answers a few questions. Uh, if you PM me, I can go over more specifically what everything is and what comes with it. Oh yeah, here we go. I've got here the, uh, the old Decontamination kit M2528A1. And you can see this in quite a few of my videos. I use them as dry dry boxes because they are waterproof. And inside of this one comes the number one and number two decontamination uh, kits or ampules and uh, pads. And of course, you can see it's for training. You can't get uh, the live stuff in the civilian world as far as I know but it is waterproof and this also comes with the kit usually keep it with the mask and just to show you a little bit more up close on some of this stuff here's the suspenders and down here unlike the older suits the newer suits like this one have Velcro right here at the bottom. You can put it tightly around your ankle where the boots and the uh, outer garment come in contact. And it also has a waist a strap here with uh, Velcro. I don't think these are all one size fits all, but uh, this pretty much looks like it. Since you can uh, adjust the uh, waist and the ankle here's just a uh, close-up of everything here's the hood got a little drawstring and this is a uh, carbon lined I believe Activ activated carbon or something like that it does have some more velcro more velcro here plus a zipper and it has snaps and this is where you'd put your atropine. So if you got some kind of chemical agent, you'd whip one of those puppies out and stab it into your heart. It's got adjustable right here at the cuff. There you go, that's it. That's my NBC suit. Hopefully that answers some of the questions. Like I said, if not, uh, you want to know something specific, just PM me and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Later guys, Iron Single 150. Peace.